So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer files between computer using an Ethernet cable. Now, most people will say that the best way to transfer files is by using a flash drive. And to that, I would say, what if the file size is, let's say, 150 gigabytes? Your response will be probably get a bigger flash drive, but it is not the best solution and it's nowhere close. Ethernet, I would say, is one of the best solution. Maybe not the number one solution, but it is one of the best. So what you will need is a crossover Ethernet cable. And the difference between crossover and a standard is a standard Ethernet cable is used to establish a connection between a router and a computer. And crossover can be used for that purpose and computer to computer. Now the chances are the Ethernet cable that you have right now is also a crossover Ethernet cable. I did not buy this one for this purpose. I just had this Ethernet cable for some other reason. Okay, so once that is done, uh, connect one end to one of your computer and connect the other end to one of your computer as well. The two computers that will be used for this process. So once that is done, make sure that you have Wi-Fi disabled or any other connection because that's just going to confuse the computer. So disable it on uh, both of your computers. So the only connection that we'll have is between computers. There will not be any connection to the in to internet. Okay, once that is done, uh, once that is done, we will need to enable Windows file sharing, discovery. Uh, open up search and type in network, network and sharing center. That's where we want to go. I can probably zoom in, can I? Yes, I can. So open up Network and Sharing Center. And then go under Change Advanced Setting. And then turn on Network Discovery. Then go ahead and save changes. We will do this to both of the computers. So let's go ahead and set the laptop aside. And then do that to the desktop. So same thing, open up File Explorer, go under uh, Network, and then you can right click and enable it or just do the method that I showed with the last computer which is by typing Network and Sharing Center. And then go ahead, go to Change Advanced Setting and then turn on Network Discovery. And this should do the same thing. Or you can right click and enable. Okay, and if you get this thing, click turn on network discovery and file sharing. Okay, once that is all done, it's already showing my computer. And so, uh, here is how you make it so the other computer see what file you want to share. So the file that I'm interested in sharing is this Black Ops 2 file. So I'm gonna go to this PC, local disk C, program file x86, uh, go to Steam, go under Steam apps. It doesn't matter, I'm just, this is the file that I want to share. Common, and then uh, we have Black Ops 2 there. So I'm gonna actually share the entire Steam Apps folder. So I'm gonna right click, click Properties, go under Sharing, go under Advanced Sharing, and then go to Share This Folder. Change the permission so it is enabled for all users. And it's just simple. It might not be most secure, but it, it will work. It is guaranteed to work. Okay, once we have that folder shared, uh, we can go back to the second computer and access this folder. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show in this video is, um, is so we're going to open up CMD, which is command prompt, and then type in ipconfig. And then uh, what I need you to pay attention to is the auto configure IP v4 address, 169.254.97.254. Okay. So let's go back to the second computer, okay? 
So if we go in, uh, if we open up File Explorer and go under Network, it should, okay, file, this file sharing is still off on this. Okay, it will show up the second, the computer that, the desktop, my desktop, right? Uh, oh, never mind. Windows cannot access Arctic Panther. Let me see what's going on. Uh, da, da, da. Do I have this? Hmm. There is no reason for this to not work at this moment. But, so, uh, you know what? We'll, we might be able to figure out the solution. So, uh, so the, the, the reason why I showed the command prompt is that you can actually just type in that IP address instead of going to network. So we have 169.254.97.254 and there you go, it actually worked this time. So that's why I wanted to show the backup method. Most of the time if you go under network it will show the computer and you can double click it and it will work. But sometimes, like in Windows XP, there is no feature like this. Like you can't just go under network and it will uh, scan for a file. So it, it's always good to just type in the actual IP address that was configured and it will work more times than not. Once that is done, we will figure, find the, the file that we shared, which is Steam Apps. Before that, most of the time you're going to have to type in the username and password of that computer. But for me, since this computer established a connection with that before, it did not require me to put the password in. But you might have to. So make sure that you have a secure user. All right, so we have Steam Apps. This is the folder that we were going to copy over. We, I'm just going to right click it and then click Copy. And then go to File System on this computer, which is in this PC, Local Disk C, Program File x86 and then go under Steam, and then go under Steam Apps. I'm just going to uh, just paste it in this file. And then replace it, it will tell me, oh, it never actually told me. So you can see the, uh, the file that I'm, I'm transferring probably more than 50 gigs. Because I have Black Ops 2, I have Age of Empire as well as uh, some other games. Oh, CSGO. And what will be impressive, the reason why I use an Ethernet cable is the speed. If you take a look, that is, that is fast compared to what you will get with a regular flash drive. So it's going to go up. It's going to go way up. And it does matter on what kind of, I guess, um, if you have gigabit, if your motherboard has gigabit Ethernet or not. Because when I transfer files between my MacBook Pro and the desktop, I get over 100 megabytes per second. But on this one, I'm guessing the, the Ethernet port on the laptop is not so great. But it will get faster. You can still see this is faster than what most flash drive would get. Not USB 3.1 ones, but it should be faster in most cases. And this, it will say, it's saying it's going to take four hours. But anyway, guys, that is, I hope I was able to achieve what I wanted to achieve, which was to show you guys how to transfer files between computers using uh, Ethernet cable. And the speed will be faster. On this one, it's not for some reason, but I can guarantee you the speed that you will see is probably over 50 megabytes per second. Thank you.